Good evening, welcome to Joyroot. Today we will discuss how we can allocate a public IP address to an Azure VM. Uh, and after allocating a public IP address to an Azure VM, we will be deallocating that public, uh, public IP address. And we will see how we can restrict the public access of an Azure VM. In a normal uh, production environment, we will not be providing any public IP to any of the Azure VM. But there are situations, certain customer will be asking us to associate a public IP to any, any of the VM, any of the server. Situation will be like uh, if some application is hosted, if some website is hosted on that particular uh, VM, it required a public access, that application required a public access, then we may have to associate a public IP to that Azure VM. So let us check it out how we can do that. So without any further delay, let us get into the lab. So I have already created a uh, VM over here and I have given to given it as uh, test VM, name it as test VM. We go to the overview. Uh, see, I have not provided any public IP address while creating the VM. We have an option to provide a public IP while creating the VM. So this time I have not given any uh, IP address over here. So create a uh, to associate a public IP address in the uh, left side in the left side blade uh, under settings we have an option called networking. So I'm clicking on networking. So here we have something called network interface and uh, the name of that network interface we can see over here. So I'm clicking on that. So again we have something here called IP configuration under settings. Uh, we have something called IP configuration. So, click on IP configuration. So, we can see what, uh, what is the uh, private IP is given to that particular VM. And you can see it is given as dynamic. So, here we can change it to static. Normally, uh, for on the production environment, we will be selecting static IP only. As it is a uh, lab environment, I am not changing anything over here and uh, uh, see here we can associate a public ip address to this vm so associate a public ip we have to click, uh, click over here associate public ip address i'm clicking over here so it will ask us to if something is there it will be uh, attaching to it we can uh, attach it here if you have created already then we can attach it here or if you are creating it as a first time then we have to create a public ip address so we have to name it. I'm giving us a test uh, VM IP and I'm keeping it as uh, standard and as MN will be static. Okay, and I'm creating and clicking OK. So and we have to save this settings. So I'm saving the settings. So presently it is saving the settings. It may take few minutes to save uh, uh, this create this in the background uh, Azure will be creating a public IP address and it is uh, asso associating to this VM so it may take few minutes uh, deployment is in progress so let us wait uh, uh, till this IP is allocated to this virtual machine So uh, once this IP is allocated, we will be checking how we can deallocate this public IP in this same location. Here itself, we have an option to uh, deallocate it. So we will be uh, deallocating uh, that public IP. We will be uh, in the lab. We will be doing that. So I'm um, waiting to. Uh, it is still running. Let us finish it. updating the network interface it may take a few minutes so um, uh, let us wait till it get, uh, finish so meanwhile we can check how we can restrict the public access to a vm um, i can say oh yeah it is anyway it is created now so we will uh, finish it off um, so i'm just refreshing it it may take a few uh yeah it's already uh, showing over here see presently the public ip address is associated with this azure vm we can see a public ip here which is 52.157.174.76 so 
so i'm just accessing i'm just taking rdp of that particular um ip which is 52.157.174.76 personally this ip address is uh, we can uh, access from anywhere from anywhere in the world it is accessible so we have to restrict this rdp access if it is some application then we have to limit that particular port of that application so let us check how we can do that so to do that um, we will just go back again to the virtual machine so this is the virtual machine where we have allocated the public ip yeah the public ip is visible here so after this we have to to limit the access to particular public ip to a range of ip how we can do that let us check that so to do that we have to come over here in networking here in the left side pan networking so uh here in bound port rules we have to create some rules over here so uh um so rdb presently it is accessible from anywhere from any port it is accessible i mean from double three eight nine port from anywhere any source from any destination it is accessible so we are blocking it out so how we can block that to block that we have to write a rule so yeah here uh, so it should be IP address from we, we are writing a rule over here we have to mention that uh, a public IP if we have to check our machine public IP or if we have a country and their country Oman if, if you check Oman and their public IP then we can add that public IP over here so it's port range let it be star so uh, due to the security reason I am not giving any public IP um, I am not providing my public IP over here I'm just uh, showing you where we can do that so uh, here it should be tcp and allow uh, priority should be the high priority 100 is the high priority so i'm giving 300 over here description and save it then whatever ip is given whatever public ip is given only from that source this machine will be accessible in that way we can restrict the rdb access in the same way if some application is hosted then uh, that ip port number should be here that also we can uh, block it in this in the same manner okay so this is the way how we can um, restrict public access to a vm now uh, to deallocate this public ip address again we have to come to uh, say networking and here we have to select the network interface so there we have uh, allocated the IP address same settings IP configuration here we have to deassociate we have to remove this from here so it will be removed this public IP will be removed I have to I'm going to save this once if it gets saved this public IP will be removed from this Azure VM but still the resource will be available in all resources uh, we are just deallocating this. Uh, uh, we are just uh, deassociating it from the Azure Azure VM. The resource we have to manually delete from this all resources. So yeah, as you can see, the public IP has been removed from here, but IP still remain. Uh, the cost will be uh, it will be uh, chargeable. So Azure will be still charging for the IP address cost. So we have allowed to come here. From the all resources uh, the, this is the IP address we have given we have to delete this particular resource particular public IP from the Azure portal so I'm doing even that I'm just deleting that uh, VM IP otherwise it will be chargeable okay so this is the way how we can um, allocate a public IP address to an Azure VM, how we can deallocate and restrict a public access to that particular VM. Uh, this particular area we will be, I will be doing another video. We will be in detail, we will be checking it out, how we can restrict from particular location uh, to a, a particular range of IP or a particular public IP address, how we can restrict the access. We will be checking in another video. Thanks for watching this video. We will be meeting another videos. If you like, if you find this video is really helpful to you, 
please do subscribe my channel support me uh, share it to your friends thank you we'll meet you in another video bye